Come on, pal. Easy, boy. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. Now let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yeah. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. 
Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny feller, John Marston. For my folks, eh? Oh, well. Round of applause. You're gonna hurt the horses. You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. They're left here, towards roads. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scar face. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jump. What are you doing? Just go straight, Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Let's go. We're going to miss it. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Are you sure this is the right way? Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, you'll get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. I'll help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. We're close, Marston. We're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit further. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the track. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. All right, get on that train. Hey! You bastard. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and sure. there you get shot. Go! Everything you got. Money, valuable. I am a you go. My dear. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Don't molest oh, me, please. No, I ain't got nothing. No, no. Want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What? Ain't What's the problem here? Over. Tell him, Mr. M. 
Money, valuables. Don't yeah. do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay, okay. In the bag, God everything you it. got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I'm gonna count to three. One. Two. God damn it. Oh, God. Sick is better Here. than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be Ladies over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? Job. You sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time, You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here? Uh, quick, come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag is full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Don't make me hurt you. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got, let's go! I'm not a bad man. Quelle tristesse. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you What is it? Them. You alright? You here with the baggage car? For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Little Irish shit, get up. Watch it. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. We're looking good in here. Come on, we should get out of here. All right, we should probably be going now. These folks are rich, all right. Decent stuff. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marston Smith! Get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberty. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <gasps> Me and my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. <laughs> To the left, here comes our friend. Oh, come on, through the trees, you see him? Damn it. Stop you Look out behind us! Coming in on horses!
Shut up, Morgan. We gotta go. Right, let's lose him. Yeah. fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Yep. Hey, boy. Get up. Let's get this to Pearson. But answer me this. If Miller is a fraud, is he? 
be an honest fraud. The way I see it, he's the worst kind of fraud, Mr. Dutch. He's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. How do you mean? He's on vacation with the lower classes. The outlaws, those unprotected by wealth. You are too hard on him. He, he writes with Well done there, music. Arthur. Yes. <laughs> He's very... Burnham! ...ornamental, as my uncle would say. Hey, your uncle. What was he? He was a slave. Very good. We were getting low. He was a man in his county, but a slave. Miller writes about men. Good. We really needed now, this. Miller's a slave, too. Many uh, thanks. Some pretty Morgan. words and empty phrases, but he don't understand. You are too harsh a critic. Look, you're a great man, Mr. Dutch. But you ain't great because of Evelyn Miller. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> well, I, I do like talking with you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. 